Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about what's the process for handling large files uploads in ASP.NET Web API. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just 3 months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Before you're uploading large files on ASP.NET Web API, so for this you have to choose the right strategies. So choosing the appropriate strategy for handling large file uploads is crucial. So two common approaches are direct uploads or chunked uploads. To direct uploads, direct uploads involve sending the entire file to the server in a single request. While suitable for smaller files, this approach can cause performance issues with larger files due to longer upload times and potential timeouts. So chunk uploads are involved breaking the large file into smaller chunks and sending them sequentially to the server. This approach provides several benefits like resumable uploads, lower impact, progress tracking. So for this, you have to find a user-friendly experience for creating essential large files upload so consider client side libraries like drop zone js or fine uploader to facilitate drag and drop functionality and progress tracking so here's an example of drop zone js so it simplifies the client side integration on the process now the next step is error handling and resumable uploads network interruptions and errors can disrupt uploads implement error handling mechanism to allow user resume uploads seamlessly so here's the example in this example file chunk class represent data structure of the chunk being uploaded so here's the example of file chunk class next thing is the combined chunks method combines all uploaded chunks to reconstruct the original file so here's the example Remember that this is a simplified example and actual production implementations may require additional consideration and optimization. Okay, now the next thing is direct uploads for small files. For smaller files, the direct upload approach can simplify the process. Let's explore a real world implementation using ASV.NET Web API to handle direct uploads. So here's the client side implementation, HTML and JavaScript. On the client side, you can use HTML and JavaScript to create a simple input form and handle the upload process. On the server side, create a controller action to handle the uploaded file. So here's the example. Direct uploads for small files offer a straightforward approach for users to upload content. By implementing this method in ASP.NET Web API, you provide users with a seamless and efficient way to share their files. This approach is particularly suitable for scenarios where immediate upload and minimal user interaction are preferred. The simplified version of combined chunks method is example. By implementing chunks upload for large files in ASP.NET Web API, you ensure a reliable and user-friendly upload experience. User can seamlessly upload even the largest file with the ability to resume uploads in case of interruption. This approach optimizes server resource and minimizes the chances of timeout, ultimately enhancing your application's performance and user satisfaction. So thank you for watching this video. By following these strategies outlined, so you can equip to implement effective and seamless file upload solutions that align with both of your applications need and user expectations. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.